I'm gonna make you a better spiker by the end of this video. I've got 10 minutes, five tips. Get ready, because we're learning a lot. The first thing I want you to reflect on is your approach as a spiker or a hitter. A lot of people do the three step. It looks something like this. One, two, three, up and hit. This is taught because it's simple. It's really easy to teach a 10 year old three steps. Left, right, together. But I'm gonna challenge that. I think the three step is holding you back because I'm gonna teach you the four step approach. And I made a whole video, I'll put it up there on why it's so effective and why you should give it a shot. Now I'm not saying the four step's the only way to do it, but I am saying explore how it feels. I was down here at three step when I learned it, my aggressive, offensive game evolved. It just changed the way I even perceive sets and attacks. So instead of three step like this, one, two, three, I want you to do four steps, okay? Just add one more in. One, two, three, four. The reason why I teach the four step is because it gives you tools and language to sync up with your setter. Let's talk about tempos for a little bit. High, medium, and quick. When you do the four step approach, it links to the foot you're on in your approach. So when the set is touching the ball, if you're on your first step, that means you're running a high ball. If you're on your second step, that means you're running a medium ball. And if you're on your third step of the approach, when the set is touching the ball, you're running a quick. If this doesn't make that much sense, that's all right, because I've dedicated a whole video and I've put it in my description. So go check it out. It'll change the way you see your approach and how you see tempos, the four step approach. The second thing I want you to consider is your transition from blocking to hitting. This is what I see a lot of. Block, shuffle back, then into your approach. I'm gonna say that's a bit ineffective. It's the way I learn and I still catch myself doing it, but it's not very effective. Because take a look, when I'm shuffling back this way, I'm either looking at the other court or I need to force myself here to look this way. It just feels a bit unnatural, and it is. So this is what I suggest. Instead of shuffling back, we're gonna do a four step backwards. So we're gonna block down and take a look. I'm actually running, I'm moving this way. Look, one, two, three, four, straight into my approach. Let me show you again. Can you see the benefit of why I do this? There's two reasons of why I like doing it. It's because when we transition back, instead of our natural viewpoint being the other team, our view is of our team. That's where the ball is. We want our vision to be around the ball and we need to know how do I adjust my spike? Do I need to adjust it? Is it gonna be perfect? So when I'm here, bang, I'm naturally opening up to the court and I'm seeing everything. Four steps back, I'm in the perfect position. Four steps off the net, guess what? I'm doing my four step approach. Woo! It's perfect, baby. Bang. If you've gotten in the habit of shuffling back like this, or actually doing the opposite and looking this way, uh-oh, consider trying this transition. Look at the way I land. I'm blocking. I like sort of landing like this sometimes. Look, my foot's already back into that position so I can transition. Oh, pow, pow, pow. three payments. So I block, land, one, two, three, four, adjust, one, two, three, four, pow. Go for a spike, record your transition and see what it looks like. Are you looking at the game or are you looking at that game over there? The next tip I want you to consider is explosiveness. When I talk to my spikers, when I talk to any spikers, I say, out of 10, how explosive did you feel just then? And I get a lot of answers, oh, maybe five out of 10. Even if they hit the ball really hard, because spiking isn't just this action here. It's your approach. It's your hit. It's the way you look at the game. You need to be an explosion. You need to be a force to be reckoned with. This is what I see a lot of the time. Approach. 
bang. They have an explosive whoo, spike motion, but their approach isn't explosive either. We should be contacting the ball at our fastest point, opinion. Because if we're moving this way as fast as possible and hitting as fast as possible, we will be moving that ball as fast as possible. It makes sense, doesn't it? If we just go slow, 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 jump up like this and swing, we can still get a lot of power. But I bet you it's nowhere near as powerful as you exploding into that ball. So when you're spiking, be explosive. Sometimes you need to wait a little bit longer than you think when that set is going, and then bah! You need to explode, man. Sis, bro, auntie. To be an effective spiker, you need to be explosive. Not only in the contact point, bang, 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 but also in your approach. Explode into your spike. Now, the next thing I want you to think about is what are you looking at when you're back here? We just discussed what you're looking at when you're transitioning. We should be looking at the game. Now that we're in position to hit, what are you looking at? A lot of the time, it's the ball. We're fireflies and we're sucked in by that ball. Ooh, that glorious, juicy, yellow and blue ball. Don't look at the ball. The ball's not gonna tell you any extra information than it already has. You're wasting your time. This is what you could be looking at. The middle blocker on the other side of the net. Now, why is that a good idea? The reason why you should look at the middle blocker is because that middle blocker is gonna ruin your day if you're not paying attention. So this is what you need to do. When you get back in position, once you see that first ball go up, you're seeing the ball go into the setter's hands, you're looking past the setter at the middle blocker. This is gonna tell you a lot of information. Are they in position to block? both pins? Are they looking at your middle blocker? Are they looking at you? Because then, if you're in the middle of your transition, you'll be able to see whether that middle blocker is gonna make it over to you, whether you're versing two blockers or one, or if you see the blocker coming in late and you've got the seam option. It's gonna give you way more options when you're attacking. If you're wasting your time looking at the ball, you're always gonna be kill blocked. Use that time more effectively. So I'm going for the spike. I'm not looking at the ball. I'm looking at the setter where you are, but I'm also looking at the middle blocker. Is he coming in? No, he's not. Cross court, kill. Bang, bang, bang. Hit him with a coach arty. That's game over, baby. That's game over. Now, the next thing you need to consider is your hitting toolbox. What do I mean by that? Everyone says hitting toolbox, what does that mean? As a carpenter, when you're making a cabinet, how many tools do you have? You've got a hammer, you've got some nails, is that it? You've probably got a whole lot more. You've probably got a filer, you've probably got a sander, you've got a whole lot of tools that you can use to create this cabinet. Same thing. When you're a professional spiker, you need multiple tools to get the job done. You don't just have a hammer, you have a cross court. You have a line option. You have a tip. You have a sharp cross this way, flexible movements, yeah? You have tool off the block. You have spike it into the block so it goes out all the way. I know way too many, way too many strong spikers that have one tool. Guess what it is? Hit as hard as possible. No, no, that is a tool. That is not your only option. Please, when you're spiking, there are so many more tools you can use. Hit hard, I'm not telling you don't hit hard, but I'm telling you do it in a way that wins points. So many times people go up, hit really hard, get kill blocked. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? Go again, set, oh they go up, spike it as hard as they can, get kill blocked. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? They lose all their confidence. Why? Because their one tool isn't working. So be flexible. Learn different tools. There's so many of spikers. Get creative. My favorite is the tip. Now I just do a little tip. Goes over the top of the spiker. Easy, okay? But guess what? I don't use that every single time. Because if I did, people get used to that tool, wouldn't they? So you gotta be creative. Don't limit yourself to just one attack. 
Learn cross court. It feels good to hit cross court. How good does it feel to hit line? It feels good when you learn it. When you're learning it, it feels horrible because you're always hitting it out. If you don't fail, you will never learn. Force yourself to fail. Force yourself to be uncomfortable because if you don't, you will stay mediocre. You will be someone who can hit the ball really hard, but that's all you'll be able to do. I'd rather have someone that couldn't hit the ball hard, but could do sharp angle attacks, go line, tip the ball, wipe the block. I'd rather that person. They'd be much more valuable. So be flexible. Don't just put yourself in this little box being like, I'm only someone who can hit hard. Be flexible as a spiker and grow as many tools as possible because you will become a great spiker. So those are my five tips to make you a better spiker. If you follow them, I can guarantee you're gonna be a better spiker. But remember, these are just tools I'm giving to you. They're not the only way to spike. They are suggestions that may or may not help, depending on your body, depending on your style, depending on you. Give these a shot, see how you go. And if you get better at spiking, make sure to tell me. Now, if you've got any more tips that you wanna share in the comments, don't gatekeep that information. Go tell me down there below the subscribe button because we all want to know. The Club Artie community all want to get better. Don't hold us back. Give us that information we so desperately want. Hey guys, I'm Coach Artie. I make volleyball content to make you the strongest volleyballer inside and out. Today you just learn how to spike better. If it helped, consider liking the video. Consider telling me down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. You get better when you practice. So go practice your spike. Good Johnny!